Today I saw some beautiful bell peppers. I saw yellow ones, green ones, red ones. And my favorite are the red ones because they're the sweetest. Um, I was going to get the green ones and then I noticed that there were red ones that were actually on sale cheaper than the green ones, which I much prefer. So I bought four large red bell peppers and I'm gonna show you how I make stuffed bell peppers. Um, there's a lot of different ways to make them and I'm just gonna show you how I make them. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. So we want to cut the tops off first. You can cut them lower or right. I cut them, you know, kind of maybe three quarters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to clean the outside. I mean the inside, excuse me. We're going to go around with a sharp knife and just kind of go around this center pull it out and then kind of clean around the inside, take out a little bit of this. And then we have a full um, pepper shell that we can stuff. It's actually easier when you clean out the center to use a paring knife because it's smaller and you just kind of go around and it's much easier to to clean that out so the inside you should definitely use a paring knife that's much simpler you don't need to waste the tops that you cut off you can eat these and you put them in a salad or just eat them they're really really good it's still part of the pepper it's just when you cut the top off you aren't going to use it in the stuffed bell pepper. So I, what I do is I cut them off like this and I either eat them raw or put them in a salad. Before we stuff and bake these, we're going to fill up a pot and boil these for about three minutes to soften them a little. It helps the cooking process. We're going to fill this past the peppers and we want to weigh the peppers down by having water in them so they don't float to the top. We're going to fill this pot up about three quarters, or up just about a half an inch to an inch above the peppers. You're going to take, depending on how many uh, bell peppers you're stuffing, and it just all depends on how much you're doing. I'm using a half a pound of ground beef. And I generously salted it and put pepper on it. And I'm just going to cook this ground beef right now while my bell peppers are getting ready to boil. And I'm going to leave them boil for about three minutes and then stop it. I also have my rice cooking. So all three of these are cooking at once. So those have been boiling probably about three minutes. We're going to turn off the stove and take them out. There's our rice. About 25 minutes to have it actually cook all the way. I always put either marinara spaghetti sauce in this or I put what I have and I have some tomato sauce. I'm not going to put all of it in. 
I would say that's about three quarters of a so cup. Now what I'm going to do is just combine all this together. So by adding a tomato sauce or a marinara, it prevents the rice and hamburger meat from being real dry and it gives it moisture. So I'm going to mix this all together. It's at this point that I add a little bit of herbs after I've cooked everything. And I've salted and peppered that, so now I'm going to add a little thyme. And you can put rosemary, you can do whatever you want. I'm just going to add a, maybe, um, probably at the most, a half a teaspoon of thyme. And I have enough salt, I'm going to add a little more pepper. And uh, it doesn't really need garlic because it already has it in, so this is pretty much it. And then you taste it before you stuff your peppers to make sure it has all the flavors that you want. The last step is I either add parsley or like some kind of greens and I have some green onion. So that's what I'm going to add to it. That's my last ingredient that I put in it. So now what we do after everything's blended and you have everything you want, you can do, like I said, parsley too, and sometimes I do have parsley, but I don't have any more today. So the next step is you're gonna take your peppers and a spoon, and you're going to stuff these almost to the top, and right about like this, and you may wanna make sure you get all the water out of them, like if there's any water left, which there probably will be, you just pour it all out, just like I've dumped these out. So um, that's what we're doing now. Your oven should be preheated to 400 degrees. I could have made um, more peppers if I wanted to, but I figured four was just about the right amount. So that's why I only did four. And it might just be right about the perfect amount because these are pretty large um, bell peppers. Um, we are going to put cheese, but you can either put like cheese, grated cheese or a, or a slice of cheese, however you want to do it. What I do is after I bake them, I just pour like a dried Parmesan cheese on, but I've done it both ways, but that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to um, wait till these are done baking. And then I'm just like you would on a spaghetti sauce or something. If you use that, I have a really good quality, uh, dried cheese, Parmesan cheese. So after these are done baking, I'm going to just top them off with some Parmesan cheese. So here they are. They're all ready to go in a 400 degree oven and they should bake between 25 and 30 minutes. So we'll see in about 25 to 30 minutes. So a knife can slit through and it's soft, so they're done. So here they are. I'm just going to let them cool for a little bit and then we'll give them a try. Doesn't that look lovely? Here we are. This looks really, really good. It smells really good too. So what we're going to do is get a little bite that has the rice, the meat, and some of the pepper. Absolutely delicious. The peppers aren't mushy or really soft. They're a little al dente, which is what you want because your vegetables are much fresher and crisper that way. They're cooked but they're nice and got a little bite to them. So if you like bell peppers, I think you'll really enjoy this recipe. I hope you give it a try and I hope it turns out wonderful for you.